Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a massive leak for a preseason transfer SBC that will be coming soon to FIFA 23. He is back. Renato Sanchez is leaked to have an SBC. So I want to take a look at that and probably the most crazy version of a Renato Sanchez card we have ever had because it will be a transfer to PSG. It's like the FIFA meta is meeting real life at the same time with this transfer, and we're getting a card in FIFA to celebrate it. So that's going to be a crazy SBC. I want to talk about the potential for that. And as we even talked about yesterday, EA is dropping another showdown. I think that could be today on Wednesday. We'll take a look at Pogba and Wijnaldum in a showdown for a big-time Saturday game in the Serie A coming up this weekend. Also, I want to take a look at the market, of course. SBC fodder continues to go higher and how yesterday was actually a really disappointing day of content and how the SBC that we actually got yesterday, the player pick that we have, the 86+, plus, is completely not worth it at all whatsoever. So I want to take a look at that and everything else going on with the 98 Ericsson already upgraded, like the fastest upgrade ever, and everything else related to the preseason promo right now going on in this game. So if you're enjoying the videos and if you're excited for a PSG Renato, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at this leak. We talked about it. We already prefaced it. You guys may have already seen it. This is the leak. Renato Sanchez added to come via preseason player stats or prediction. This is an SBC that so many people were looking forward to, or just a card in general, right? Last year, we had a footies Renato that was cracked, everybody loved. This is a guy everybody was looking forward to seeing as a part of the preseason promo or footies, but specifically because of this preseason promo with his transfer to PSG. Now, the, the one thing I think about when I see this card is... Yeah, like I said, the FIFA meta is colliding with the real-life PSG hype, right? But also, we have had so many insane midfielders recently. Think about Ferlin Mendy. We just had an Ericsson upgraded card that was from that was dropped, you know? We have had so many midfielders recently. You could go back to Barella. I'm probably even forgetting a few that have dropped recently that have just been incredible, incredible midfield players in this game via SPC. Oh, Gravenberch. That's who I was forgetting. Gravenberch, disgusting card, right? 114K. And now we are getting a Renato. In my opinion, this Renato card, in terms of FIFA hype, trumps all of those, let's be honest, because it is Renato. And of course, like I said, this kind of reminds us of his card from last year, the five-star, five-star footies SPC player item, which was, again, cracked as you see the stats here. It was only about 200 to 250,000 coins to complete while he was out in the game, and everybody loved this SBC last year. It was in the end game. Last year, it was dropped on Friday, August 20th. Here we are on the 24th of August this year on a Wednesday, potentially looking for this SBC in the next day or two. Now, that's the other thing I want to talk about. When would this SBC drop? You know, Today, as I talked about with that leaked um, other SBC, that's, I think that's going to be today. The showdown SBC that we'll talk about in a second might be today. I think this, you know, it would be crazy for two of these SBCs to be on the same day. I think this might be more of a Thursday type SBC, maybe even as late as Friday. I feel like Friday might be a bit late, but we'll have to see. In the next coming days, of course, that's all that we know. Probably the next two to three. That's all that we can really say for sure. The other question I have is, Maybe if this does drop today, and this could make some sense based off of what they did in the footies promo, if you remember, the first time that we had like the one of those big SBCs, the ultimate footies SBCs, was on a Wednesday, and we had Ferland Mendy and Griezmann on back-to-back -back Wednesdays, and they were ultimate footies SBCs. Will this be the first like ultimate uh, preseason transfer SBC, right? You know how we have the Gravenberch and the Lewandowski. They both got nice upgrades, but will Renato get an ultimate version and get released today on a Wednesday? That's just one thing that I thought of. Not entirely sure about that. Now, this Renato, of course, the card that we have leaked, the card that we were just looking at is a prediction. So the stats are not final. The only one that we have in the game right now for Renato Sanchez is that road to the final version. So Hopefully off of this card, you know, we're of course hoping for a really, really, really big upgrade from the 87 rated version that was still so cracked. But if it is an ultimate SBC, it might be today and it would be super expensive or a little bit more expensive than otherwise. Um, but still, that's just, I'm, I'm kind of drawing some conclusions based off the last promo. We really don't know too much about that. But realistically, based off of the showdown schedule, I think this SBC could be delayed a day or two just because I really feel like the showdown SBC could be today. Now, realistically, for a price in this Renato Sanchez, 
Hopefully it's, you know, around the same price as the one that we had last year, which was around two, 250,000 coins. I mean, if you think about it, the Ericsson that we just had was 200,000 coins. You know, the Mendy was a bit expensive. The Graven Birch though was really, really cheap, but it also is PSG. So I could see EA, you know, requiring a little bit of a premium for a guy like Renato Sanchez, knowing his FIFA hype and the PSG links that he has. We'll just have to see. But if, if I had to guess, I would say that Renato would be somewhere around 500,000 coins. That makes the most sense to me. So 500,000 coins in the next two to three days. Maybe you save your 85 times tens for that occasion specifically, or maybe it even stops you from doing a couple SBCs because you're like, okay, I need to make sure I have fodder to complete Renato when he does drop. So that's the biggest SBC. And again, just crazy, right? I mean, the other things that that's going to impact on the market is probably some of your other really top tier meta midfielders. I think about, you know, some people were even asking me, Nate, is SS Ramos going to drop because of this? And I think a lot of people have been using Ramos after he went out of packs from the end of footies. His card went from 100,000 coins to 170K on the PlayStation. So I do think that other top tier midfielders, especially a guy like Ramos, with the PSG links, but you know, I think of a guy like Marcelo, I think of a shapeshifter Conte, all who are up big since they went out of packs. You know, some of those top tier midfielders that people are using in this game, I do think could see a bit of a drop just because this Renato SBC will have so much hype. So that's just kind of all my thoughts around that SBC. But like again, I said, I really feel like this next leak is the one that has a higher potential to actually be today on Wednesday, and that is this showdown. We talked about even in yesterday's video that this game between Juve and Roma could be the showdown game, and indeed it is. Pogba versus Wijnaldum is the other big leak that we have going on right now. I personally think this SBC will be today, should be today, because the game is on Saturday. It's a midday Saturday game between Juve and Roma, and again, EA like to give us three days ahead of time, around three days to get a showdown SBC done and kind of decide two to three is usually the time frame. So whether it's today or tomorrow, I just feel like this one could be today. We'll have to see um, if it's going to be that, of course. EA can obviously change up however they want. So I'm trying to talk through all the different possibilities and options here. But I guess my hunch is this one might be today. We will just have to see. But a 96 rated Pogba, of course, these stats are predicted. But just like they did with the Ericsson and the Nunez, we probably expect 95, 96 rated cards with a plus two on the line. A high rated Pogba is something that people have been wanting for a long time because Pogba's last card, if we go ahead and take a look at it, was I believe technically his last card was the silver version, which was released during that very different Silver Stars promo. But he's had the Winter Wild cards, of course, since December when that promo was released. And after that, we haven't had another elite top tier Pogba released since. Now we are looking at this version changing teams to Juve. Again, a uh, team transfer showdown. That's part of the fun with these showdowns that we have going on right now is they have their new teams as a part of the card. Same thing with Wijnaldum. Now also this showdown is kind of interesting because it's actually like neither of these players will be playing in the game. Like Ericsson at least played for the United game, although Nunez didn't. Uh, Pogba and Wijnaldum are both injured. This is like the injury showdown. Of course, we wish them well and hope them to recover soon and get better fast, but it's kind of interesting how both these guys are injured during the point where their FIFA cards could potentially get upgraded based off of how their team plays. Now, I know for a fact, you're like, Nate, another set of midfielders? Yes, it does seem kind of crazy. Which one of these are people going to honestly do? And I think you know the answer off the top of your head, and I do too. It's Pogba, right? Pogba being French, being with the links that he'll have, I mean, the Winter Wild Cards Pogba is obviously not even on the market right now because all those are extinct for SBCs and stuff. But you just imagine Pogba with the Piemonte Calcio, aka Juventus, links. Think about the squad building potential that even with his 96 rated card, that's absolutely going to be great. Think about the squad building potential that you're going to have with other Serie A cards. Um, like, of course, that big boy center back Chiellini that everybody loves to use. Where Don't I have a Serie A team? Maybe I don't. I guess, maybe. oh, this has got to be my Serie A team, right? Chiellini have got links to, of course. The Barella card, it would get a green link to Pogba because it's an ultimate footies item. I mean, there's been so many great, you know, the, the Insigne as well wouldn't be a green link, but it'd be a, it'd be just a, a regular link triangle with Chiellini. You could figure that out. You know, Cordoba being a hero shapeshifter would get a green link to Pogba. So many Serie A cards that you could use to link that Pogba in. 
a squad, uh, and it could bring some Syria Syria hype back uh, into the game just with those French and Piemonte Calcio links. All the French cards we've had recently as well, right? You could do like Pogba, Varane, Chiellini, like you could have a little triangle action going on there. It would be fantastic with this Pogba card being released, and I think most people are going to get his SBC done, and I'm sure his card's going to be really, really good anyway. So again, the reason why I expect this SBC to be most likely today on Wednesday would be the game is on Saturday, and that's the three-day window that EA usually give for the showdown SBCs. Hopefully, they boost them up big time. Hopefully, they give him that five-star, five-star. He already has the skills, just given the weak foot EA Sports. You might as well do it. I mean, I want to give Wijnaldum a shout here too. I'm not completely writing off Wijnaldum. Uh, four star, four star for his card. They could maybe give him five star skills as well. Unique body type and high, high work rates for him with the flare trait. Nothing super crazy for traits on him. But, you know, even Wynaldum would have a pretty nice card. Uh, I just, Pogba is going to be a lot more popular because of the name, the player that he is, and being a former Man U player, just also being pretty good in FIFA, but just a different kind of player in FIFA and not having a special card for a while. So again, a lot of midfield love right now on this game uh, with the leaked SBCs upcoming. And again, the current SBCs that we had, I mean, yesterday, just to go back for a little bit and talk about yesterday's content, the, the speed of this upgrade, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around literally the fastest showdown SBC upgrade we have ever seen for this 90 Ericsson, 12 hours after the game was over, I woke up yesterday after we had released the video about, oh my goodness, Ericsson's going to get upgraded and talking about showdowns and stuff. He had the upgrade. I was like, excuse me, what? That was crazy how fast it happened. Um, GG's DA Sports. Keep that up because, I mean, right now with these showdown SBCs, it's very nice when they get the fast upgrades. You can wake up the next day and play with the card that you saw yesterday perform well and you have that upgrade right there. Like, that's how showdown should be all the time. That was absolutely fantastic for me, sports. Big W, GG's, keep it up. That's the kind of stuff that we want to see with these showdown cards. So that was incredible. Still honestly can't get over how fast that was. Now, more about yesterday's content. We did not have the 95 plus shapeshifter, which was a bit unfortunate in my opinion. Um, I was really expecting that. I was really looking forward to that SBC instead, which that, that could still be coming, I guess. Who knows? I feel like there's still another, maybe a shapeshifter, like a high rated player, player pick. The foot heroes captain slash um, shapeshifter player pick could be still an SBC that drops today as well. That's something that's been dropping the last few Wednesdays. But the SBC we had yesterday was the 86 plus player pick. It was actually a really quiet day of content. We had the, uh, the 85 times 10 refresh and an unlimited 86 plus player pick released. Now this SBC, in my opinion, is a big time skip. It is not worth doing this SBC, not even once, because at the same time this SBC is live, we have a preseason batch one player pick that gives out higher rated players and costs less the only difference is this is a one of three and it's an 83 rated squad to turn in this one is a one of four and it's an 84 rated squad to turn in but you get 86 plus players as your lowest threshold right the preseason batch one player pick the lowest card that is impacts right now in batch one is an 88 so in my opinion one less player but still getting an 88 guaranteed you're probably still going to get a lot of gold cards out of this 86 plus. It's more worth it to do the preseason batch one player pick, in my opinion, if you're wanting to grind one of those player picks for a low value squad. This is absolutely the one to do. So that was a bit disappointing yesterday for real on the content side of things, just being such a quiet day that it was. Now, hopefully today we have a little bit more excitement because again, the Pogba Wijnaldum showdown, the Renato Sanchez, I think one of those two is going to be happening on the game today. And then of course, maybe another shape to player pick stuff like that going on. The thing is though, all this SBC content, again, we are lacking demand in the SBC fodder department. And you've got these 83s specifically, even some of the 84s doing pretty well, but 83s are doing very, very well. They're, they're going up in price like every single day. I checked the 83s like around content and they're, they're all going up every single day. And I want to look at fodder once again, because you know, they're not really low tonight because look, look at this from yesterday. Jorginho, or sorry, not Jorginho, Kovacic, 83, went from 2.5K, right? Right before content, spiked to four. Now it's back down to 2.6. That's a bit of an undercut right there. But, you know, these cards are absolutely up from where they were on the weekend. When we were looking at these under, I think it was even Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning, 
8K for a Cherubi. Went to 3.7 on Monday. Yesterday, it went from 2.5 all the way to 3.5. So about 1K of a spike yesterday. I could see some of these cards spiking again today, but I really like the 82s, 83s, 84s as the best because those are the ones that just keep moving the most. And they're the ones that are in, the, in demand the most because people get the high rated cards from the 85 times 10. Or they're going and doing the 85 times 10 and they're buying these lower tier fodder cards to complete those SBCs. These are the ones that people are ending up buying most off the market right now. That's why you see their prices moving the most. But again, the thing that would stop prices moving on these every single day like they do would be some sort of tradable supply. And with no more of those token SBCs coming in, EA would really just have to drop a one-off tradable supply. Now, the other thing they could do is, and this could be a little sneaky from EA, if they drop either the Showdown, Pogba, Wijnaldum today, um, maybe with like two, two different squad requirements inside of it with really good tradable packs, we have seen before where, or even a Renato SBC, if this is dropped today on Wednesday, the tradable packs inside of a very, very popular player SBC, if they are good enough and tradable, do sometimes have enough pull and supply to drop some fodder prices on the game, even though that SPC would have some demand because you might have a bit of a spike still right away after the SPC comes out, but then people opening their packs, people are doing the SPC over time. Usually into the evening, you could see those prices fall a bit. So just watch out again, any sort of tradable supply would be what we are looking for, for any sort of fodder price movements to go downwards. Other than that, I'm thinking it's just gonna be the daily spike around one hour after content is when you see these guys spike up. Even 85s, look at Oyarza ball from 5K all the way to 7K yesterday. Pretty big fluctuation there for him. Good chemistry, a little bit different position there. Aubameyang, did he have a spike? Let's check 85s really quick. I'm genuinely curious after looking at Oyarza ball. Um, Aubameyang was like 5K, went up to about 7K as well. So yeah, some of these 85s, you know, you pick the right ones and you're gonna get some cards that fluctuate every single day in terms of the, of the fodder market. So absolutely look through these cards that fluctuate about every day. Wow, 85s actually did bits yesterday. They went from 5K to 7K, that was a W. So a little bit more expensive, so a little bit less profit after tax, but 83s, 85s, and, and some of the 84s, and probably some other cards in between, most fodder on the lower tier end is having a spike every day around 6 p.m. UK time. So that's kind of what's going on with the market and with the game. Still, like I would say, Keep an eye out on some of your meta midfielders today because that Ramos card is not down at all right now. But I do think, you know, you might be like, Nate, would a, wouldn't a Renato Sanchez actually make Ramos go up? You know, I think people have enough PSG cards in their team at this point in the year. I think your initial price movement on this Ramos, depending on how cheap Renato is, as long as Renato is not stupid expensive overpriced, I would expect to see this Ramos go down as people would say, oh my goodness, I want to go get this Renato done. Um, and then I would sell a Ramos to go ahead and do him. You know, other cards like Messi might be like, Nate, would a Messi go up today? Messi's already pretty expensive. Um, like, man, 1.7 mil after this guy was 1.3 before he went like out of packs after footies. Crazy price rise on his card. You know, you, you would look at some other PSG items, maybe, maybe like a Neymar. A lot of people have done the Neymar though. A lot of people have done the Rafinha footies card that we had a couple weeks ago. So I think between the you know the links that we have for Renato right now there's so many of them out there I don't think you would see a ton of these players rise up that much maybe a little bit for a few of them uh but I, I you'd have to find a specific player or two I think to really see too many movements in price to that would be significant enough to try to make some coins off of really I think it would impact more cards negatively than positively just because of the hype of a Renato-esque SBC. So that's kind of what we're in for right now in FIFA. It just feels like a waiting period. We have this content leaked. We're excited for it to drop. We're crafting it. I'm still working on my preseason objectives. Got some more preseason cup games done yesterday. Oh, I have to do the warm-up challenge. This, by the way, in last night's video, I, I was like, oh yeah, I'm excited to do this and then craft like other SBCs. I forgot that EA, of course, messed up on Friday. So the challenge time frame for this warm-up SBC was completely off. And so, of course, this was delayed and it did not refresh right at the content drop. So going to get this one done here in a second. And then I'll have an 85 times 5 and an 85 times 10 for the stream today on Wednesday. And maybe that'll help me craft some of these SBCs that I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing today, either Renato or Pogba slash Wijnaldum. 
on a Wednesday inside of preseason. So if you're excited for any of that leaked content, I know there's a lot to be excited about with those big boy SBCs. Hit the thumbs up on today's video. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever it may be, or if you're just dreading to see a hugely upgraded Renato Sanchez in FIFA today. And of course, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. That'd be greatly appreciated. I will see you guys on the Twitch stream today. Link down below in the description if you need some access to that. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.